While our media partner Civil Beat has been following Representative Gabbard and Hawaii's delegation in its reports, joining us live over Skype is Chief Political Reporter Chad Blair. Good morning, Chad. <laughs> Good morning, Mahia. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good, thank you. And hello to Paul as well. Ah, I will tell him. <laughs> Definitely hi. Well, let's talk about uh, Tulsi Gabbard right now and how she broke ranks in terms of this vote. What kind of questions does that leave? Well, think about it. She's only been in office uh, two and a half months, and here she is voting uh, opposite of her fellow Democrats. Colleen Hanabusa and Tulsi Gabbard basically split the vote, meaning, you know, it didn't count. She did, in fact, Gabbard vote with Republicans, as you indicated during your interview. I think that shows a little independence on her part. Maybe she's already uh, making herself distinct from the delegation. For her to be on Meet the Press yesterday was a pretty big deal. A freshman congresswoman from Hawaii talking on a national stage like that. You wonder whether Tulsi Gabbard is starting to set her eye on higher office. And let's talk about uh, Senator Inouye. Would something like this have happened uh, with Senator Inouye still alive? Oh, I, I would hate to try and answer for the for the late senator, but one thinks one would think that the delegation would have voted uh, united, that they would not have strayed from the party line, particularly on a budget issue, uh, particularly on a uh, a budget issue that could include defense spending. That was the way the delegation generally voted while Dan Inouye was in office. Unusual uh, for Congressman Gabbard to depart so early from that norm. And Civil Beat has a really interesting interview with uh, interview on this on your website. Let's talk about uh, the water, the drinking water in Hilo, and at, is it contaminated right now? It's something that Civil Beat is looking into. I'm afraid to say it is. Last week we did report on atrazine, an herbicide that is used, sugarcane, pineapple, other lands, and that uh, poisons our rivers, our streams, our coastal waters. Now we're looking at the levels that are in Hilo, and as you know, Hilo was a plantation town for a very long time. The EPA says that the levels are safe, and don't worry, you can drink that water, but scientists and health advocates are saying, you know, we're a little bit concerned that it could be dangerous at lower levels. So the EPA is going to review the chemical and see whether, in fact, there is a connection. Uh, it has been linked in some studies to cancer and to birth defects. Let's talk about uh, those Newtown shooting shootings. And uh, the, this reaction was so strong after that in terms of gun legislation. Well, what's happening right now? Well, this seems to be how it normally goes. You know, those shootings were in December. It was terrible at that, at that grade school, those children being killed. And so all the politicians from D.C. to Hawaii were saying, we've got to do something. And come January, sure enough, legislation was introduced at the federal level and here locally. Um, I won't speak federally, but I will speak locally. Nearly every single measure, about a dozen, have died at the Hawaii legislature. Only one of those measures is still alive. And by the way, it's been rewritten pretty dramatically. It was a gun buyback bill. Now it's supposed to close a loophole on bringing guns uh, from out of state into Hawaii. So uh, just a couple months go by, the media and the public tend to forget, and uh, the National Republican, or rather the NRA and its local law, be very powerful here. All right. And Chad, I know I'm going to give a little tease for our viewers. Does the Leeward Coast, for the residents there, do they have the longest commute times? I know Civil Beat looks into that, so they'll just have to check the website, right? Thanks for the plug. Yes. All right. Definitely check that one out. <laughs> it's a good story. All right. Chad Blair, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. And you can find the complete stories that we just discussed on CivilBeat.com. It is 640. We'll be right back.